So what I'm going to be doing today is taking this GPU fan off this old NVIDIA uh, 7900GS and putting it inside the router. Um, most of these routers don't come with any sort of fan. Actually, money, you're not really going to see any consumer grade ones that do come with a fan, um, especially none that are under $200. I think this is about a $179 router. Um, and usually the heat sinks are kind of small, and especially if you have this in a, I don't know, typically a warm environment, you could have some issues with overheating. So what we're going to be doing today is dismounting this NVIDIA GPU and putting the heat sink inside this router. Some of the things we're going to need today are some thermal paste. Um, not, this is thermal adhesive, not actual thermal paste that you'd use for a CPU. So this is going to be permanent for the devices that you're connecting together and it shouldn't be used for any sort of CPU inside a PC. This is for heat sinks that are going to stay. Um, and it is a two part, so there's a little bit of a process mixing this and then waiting. I think it says on here, wait five minutes. Um, another thing we're going to need is a way to power the GPU fan inside of the router. Um, some things other people have done on the internet that I've seen is use the 12 volt adapter um, that comes with the, the router itself, basically piggybacking off of that and using that electricity, um, which you would need to solder from the PCB um, to the connections of the fan. Uh, the only problem I see with that is that this fan is a little old and it's going to be I've, what I, it's going to be a little too loud. So I think a better idea, uh, especially to, for the uh, fan to be able to run at a slower speed, is to actually use the USB port power on this device. And I think that should actually work out pretty well. So another thing we're going to need to use is an old USB cable. And I've already taken the liberty of disconnect, cutting this one up. Um, you're just going to need the male end, and you're going to want to cut up the red and black wires. You're also going to need some sort of multi-tool to get the screws undone and pop off the cover of this router. Okay, so to get started with taking this apart, you're going to want to look under the underside of the router. Most routers will probably hide the screws in these little holes here where the pads of the bottom of the router go. Um, they look like this. I've already taken the liberty of taking them off. And you can basically just pop those off with a little utility knife and then get access to these screws. Well, once you do that, you're going to want to unscrew all of them, take the antennas off just because they're going to be in your way. And then we're going to come in here, this crack with either a flathead screwdriver or some sort of other device to pop this cover off. And then we'll have access to the PCB inside. Okay, so now that we've taken the screws off, we should be able to get into this crack and simply pry our way. Since I've already done it, it's going to be a little easier. Your first time, you are just basically want to get in there with some sort of flathead and it should be pretty easy. But since I've already done it, it's going to be even easier. So the first thing we're going to need to do is take this heatsink off, which shouldn't be too hard. I think it might be glued on there with some sort of adhesive, but we'll just pry our way off and see what happens. Then we're going to want to clean the surface to make sure we get a good contact with our new heatsink.
Okay, so there we got the heat sink off. You can see there's a lot of debris left on this plate here, so we're gonna need to make sure we clean that off before we put a new heat sink on there. Try not to bend this when you're taking the heat sink off, but that's probably not good. Um, I think I did okay in a job. I did bend it a little bit though, so. But let's clean it up and try to put the new one on. Okay, now that we got that all cleaned, that was a little more work than I bargained for. Um, you might actually have to take sandpaper to this to get it completely clean. You can see it's kind of dented a little bit, but it's good to go. Now the next part is going to be getting our fan unit off of this old NVIDIA card. It should be as simple as unscrewing these and make sure you unhook your leads to your fan here. But um, yeah, it should be simple and we'll go ahead and take a crack at that right now. Okay, now I'm thinking this is going to be the best way to mount it. Reason being is you're going to want this wire to be as close to the USB ports as possible. That way it'll be just an easy connection and we won't have to run any wires. Um, we might not even have to cut any groups here because this is such a thin wire. It can probably just pass right over um, when we shut the lid. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the CPU paste on there. Okay, I went ahead and made a cut here with an angle grinder just to make sure we have enough clearance for this wire to get through when we shut the lid. I don't know how necessary that really is, but just is going to make for a cleaner look and it's going to make this wire get through this pass a little bit easier. So as you can see, the fan is spinning. This is powered up and it's actually not too loud. Um, this fan at full speed is actually pretty annoying, so I'm quite happy with this speed and it's kind of what I was going for, something just cool and mellow and Something inconspicuous too, what you'll see with some of these router mods is people will actually stick an entire fan on top of the uh, router itself and it just doesn't look very good and it's pretty, pretty noticeable and I just wanted something that would be a little low profile and I think that's definitely what this achieved today. Alright guys, well that's the project. Uh, if you have any questions you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Um, and keep on the lookout for other projects like this, I know I'm going to have some coming up soon. Um, so until then, see you next time.